Hi guys, I'm Richard Oliver and welcome to the Now News. In this episode we're going to talk about the guy John, who time travelled 17 years into the future to tell the world top secret information. Now, let's start off with a little news report where he talks about himself and his co-workers getting sacked whilst they're time traveling. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing story. It is one of many time traveling stories. I mean, you've already heard of the Charlie Chaplin lady on the phone, uh, the, in the report in the Gold Bridge uh, case where the guys wearing the t-shirt and sunglasses, um, the guy that found uh, a wormhole in his kitchen cupboard and he went through and took a photo, well, basically a selfie with his older self. Now this story, um, I mean if you watch the news report, it's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty bizarre. I mean the fact that the guy, it was a chemical engineer who was that important to time travel says, I was in a big dorm with a bunch of electricity. I mean, does that help somebody that's a chemical engineer that works for NASA, you know, sort of like, phrases, words, um, just for starters? I don't think so. Then the fact that he said that he'd buried a gun and top secret world changing documents in his back garden. He buried something in his back garden. Something that he'd been smoking too much of. Mm -hmm. Then the fact that his wife says he'd been supposedly dead for 17 years and he was in naked in the bath. The guy has obviously done a bunk somewhere, hasn't he? I mean, the fact that he's been single for 17 years or He'd be not single, but the fact that he's not been married for 17 years is going to make anyone look younger because she actually said he looked younger. Um, obviously, 17 years is a long time to go on the bank, and you know, coming back, you need a good excuse. I'm pretty sure your missus is going to be pretty pissed, right? Time traveling. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you'd make that up on your, yeah, you would, yeah, 17 years. I mean, the concept of time travel, I love, right? The thought, the thought process behind it, the science behind it, but the fact that a guy <clears throat> who can't prove any of this, you know, because there's some people saying he's, he was cloned. Well, I mean, if, if you're going to go to all the expense of cloning someone, Right, which I, yeah, I wouldn't say is not possible, right? Because I mean, there's a lot of these rich people. I mean, you can get your dog cloned, right? You can get they they clone in animals. Do they clone people? Of course they do. But why would you clone this guy? Why would you obviously? I mean, it's obviously not cheap to clone someone because they have to be nurtured, cared for, um, grown. Um, educated, you know. I mean, if if you cloned, I mean, the process of memories. I mean, obviously you've got the, the the concept of cell memory, but well, yeah. really, would you clone this guy? I'm not too sure. It's a very, very, very iffy story. There's so many parts of this story that are just like... Personally, if I was going to travel through time... I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, you take the news report, this, this sort of sums it up. She says, Did you travel here in some sort of vehicle? What she wanted to say was, Did you come here in a DeLorean? That's what she wanted to say. We all want to say that. 
are there Delor flying DeLoreans where you're from or this base with this a big dome and a bunch of electricity because I'm pretty sure if my golf could travel full time I'd be, I would have sent this video out to you weeks ago you know what I'm saying you'd already be watching it I know what top secret government document he had buried in his garden he was out to get a bunch of people to follow on YouTube that's what it was then simple that's what he buried how to get a bunch of people to follow you on YouTube mm -hmm. worked didn't it Maybe he sent, maybe, yeah, yeah, do you know, think you know, give it a think now. Maybe he sent that from the future. Because they had no YouTube back then. No, no, gone, lost it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, guys, I mean, there's some stories out there of time travel that are amazing and bizarre. And they are hard to grasp. I mean, I watched this documentary years ago about a guy who made uh, the, discovered the fact that light, time and light, stayed a constant. So whatever. So if you fight a laser beam, the time that's trapped inside that beam of light stays a constant. It always stays that time. Basically, he made he made squares of light using powerful lasers and. He made a really small version, but the size of a dinner plate, and the government and NASA threw a bunch of money at him, and he carried on making it. Now, the fact that he would know that this machine worked the moment he turned the first one on. If not, you heard any more about it. And they threw a bunch of money at him, so he must have been onto something. So there are time travel in stories and conspiracies out there that are hard to debunk and have a relevance in scientific truth but this one bit of a dodgy story if you've been missing 17 years because you've been shacked up with uh, Noreen up the road and you she's kicked you out and you need somewhere to stay I wonder if she believes it. It's a thought, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we should do a story on that. How the paranormal and gullibleness coincide. I think. I wonder what the neighbours think. I wonder if they know each other or in time travel. Don't do it, because it will only just bring misery. It sounds like a right porch. And your missus won't be happy about it, yeah. Yeah, guys.